panelists. The reason we've done this is I'm one of the co-curators and designers of this exhibition, The Scenography of Cameron Porteous. I did it along with uh, Sean Bria, who can't be here tonight because he's filming. And when we started to have the idea of doing this, one of the, one of the things we wanted to do is promote theater design in Canada. We're trying to look at different designers, and we thought we'd start with sort of the with the more senior designers who, who, you know, Cameron would hate to say this, but sort of like the, the old guard of theater designers, and sort of look at their work and, and sort of honor that work, um, and hopefully in the, in the future look at younger designers and other newer directions in theater in Canada. Um, but one of the things we wanted to do along with the exhibition, which was started at um, Pump House Theater, at Pump House Gallery in Niagara on the Lake, toured here, and then it's going to the McDonald Stewart Art Gallery in Guelph is to get people talking about design and seeing design um, it never gets promoted this is the even though it's in the mandate of the design exchange this is the first design exhibition they've ever had and when we called them they went oh great design theater design oh we'd love to have that and we, we get so much, many people who are interested in it and so we want to keep doing this but we also want to have these kind of panel events where people can come and sort of talk about theater and theater design so I'm very happy to have two directors and a theater designer here with me tonight. Um, and oh, there's more people coming in. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Just, there's actually chairs. We might get people in the front row now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Camelia Koo, who's a theater designer, um, and who's worked with both of these people many times already, I think. Um, and uh, uh, Camelia also helped me with another panel we did earlier. She's also responsible for a lot of the amazing uh, model refurbishing that happened on, on the models here. The models in this exhibition, and if you haven't had a chance to look through the exhibition, well, we'll end in time for you to sort of walk through and maybe talk to the panelists in a more casual way. But um, all the models were at the University of Guelph archives, and um, they were in pretty rough shape, weren't they? When, yeah, some of them were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so Cammy. <laughs> Yeah, so, so Cami and Tyler Sainsbury worked with, with Cameron Porteous for a couple of weeks refurbishing them all and doing sort of amazing work with all that detail that you see. This is Nina Leachino. Um, Nina's a graduate of the University of Guelph. I always have to say that because it's where I teach, so I put in a plug for Guelph well, and the University of Toronto. But she's uh, the founding artistic director of Theatre for Jen and now the artistic director of Cahoots Theatre. Also worked with Native Earth. Um, and this is Nina, uh, Ida Holmes, who's <laughs> I was saying Nina again. Ida Holmes, who's just been appointed the associate artistic director, just associate director, associate, oh, associate director, sorry, of, of um, the Shaw Festival. Uh, and Ida has a background as, as a director, went to the National Theatre School, and trained as a director. But she also has a background as uh, a solo dancer, principal dancer. Um, who the companies were San Francisco Ballet, uh, Dutch National Ballet, and Frankfurt Ballet. Right. So it brings a whole other sort of perspective towards theater and, and theater design. So the, the title of the, the, the panel tonight is, is sort of what is sonography and sort of looking at collaboration and theater design, it's sort of the state of theater and theater design in Canada today. And I thought um, these people would probably have a fair bit to say about that. Um, and I'm going to start by asking a couple of questions, which I've sent them in advance, but I'm hoping this can be pretty free form. And people, you know, if you have anything you'd like to ask as we're going along, you know, just, just interject or stick up your hand or however you want to do it. But when I started to look at, Cameron refers to his work as scenography. And what he means by scenography, um, my interpretation of what he means by scenography, is a more sort of holistic or production designer approach to, to theater design. That it's a, he acknowledges it, that, that it's, a, it's a collaborative art form where he's working with a director act, and actors and te technicians, but that he's kind of the visual director so in many ways, he's kind of going hand in hand with his director, and um, that he works very much as, as an artist who chooses to work on the stage, as, as in his own words. And I looked up when I, I've written the catalog, a lot of the parts of the catalog for this exhibition here, um, and I had to write a section on sonography, and I looked it up on, I just Googled it, and I got about a thousand hits. Mm -hmm. There's so many definitions of what sonography is, and I don't even know if it's necessarily a term that we even need to use anymore, but it was certainly in the 60s and 70s when I was first getting into theater. It was a term 
that really described a different approach to design in the sense that you were you were a technician, you were you were an artist, and you were also a major collaborator, not not only with the director, but even with the, the, the playwright and the sort of dramaturgy of the piece. So I thought I'd just sort of start by asking all three of you what your understanding of sonography is, if it means anything to you at all, and then we'll sort of go from there. So how do you want to start? Um, <laughs> have that book. What is not? Um, uh, to me, uh, I think sonography is, is the process of um, not just the design, but of telling the story in a different way, which includes the, the narrative. So, um, I don't know how to describe, but like, I don't think, and I think it's definitely a collaborative uh, process between not just the director and the designer, but but everybody involved. So I think for one person to call themselves an a sonographer is a bit, I don't know, I don't think it's, to me, I don't think one person can be a sonographer for a piece. I think it's everybody's involved in the piece, uh, who's involved in this, because I didn't write it, and my design should be, should come from the playwright's work. So in many ways, it's, it's, they are also, they create, they instigate the, the visual picture that I, jump off of the team, and I think everybody adds to that. I think, I think for me, sonography is the, is the process mm -hmm. as opposed to, I don't know if word, but do you mean that I don't think one person is a sonographer for a piece? Right, and you mean that sonography sort of happens during the production, the performance? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the process that happens mm -hmm. during during collaboration, to my mind, okay. of, of, of everything you see on the stage. Yeah. Everything you see and hear. Yeah. Ina. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, whatever she said. Um, uh, sonography. Uh, to me, it's always been about, um, I guess, creating the world of the play uh, in its in, in all its fullest senses. Right. So, um, and and with what Cam said about collaboration, yeah, like it, it is totally, you know, the process of telling the story, and now it's in, in, in its three-dimensional senses. Mm -hmm. You know how it feels, how it smells like. It, it, it's it's there. That word for me. Um, I, I was thinking about it, and I, I I feel very similarly to that. I did just recently come across. Um, of some writing that Neil Monroe did. Uh, he used to write these amazing first day speeches for every production. And I came across the one that he did, that he wrote for St. Joan, that's here, mm -hmm. that he did with Cameron. And when I saw the, the, I didn't see that production, but I saw the images of it and, the, and I, the, the model and everything that's here. And I always found it intriguing, but I didn't actually entirely get it from just, this, from just the set. But having Neil's notes and having read those notes and having seen the kind of depth, and I can imagine knowing him and Cameron a little bit, I can imagine the kind of incredible, because it, it, it deals with Malthus and Darwin and pop music and uh, the Yugoslavian War and the life force according to Shaw and religion through the eyes of an atheist. And all of a sudden, <coughs> Neil's notes made that all those images in that are here in the in exhibition sort of pop up in an entirely different way and I suddenly understood that this the kind of collaboration that it wasn't even just the world of the play or the content of the play but there was an actual um, I, th I think with with Cameron in that situation anyway there was a really an interpretation a very very bold and developed and invested and researched interpretation of the playwright's words that uh, lifts it up into an incredibly more rich world than it would have been had that collaboration and totality. And it was, and it was as you say, it was a kind of totality about it that both in Neil's writing about what he was looking at and looking for in the play and then what I've seen in those images and the, the television screens and the clothing and, and the way all the the, the, the scale of the, the scale of things, the way they interact with one another, and, and so I think that for me, sonography in its be, in the best.